It's the 5th of March, 2012, and today there will be a trial in the case that everybody is interested in. The trial is for all Namli's murder case, which is closely associated to Fatma Ghul's rape case. If the judge decides to join this case with Fatma Ghul El Ghaz's rape case, then she will win a victory before March 8th, which is International Women's Day, and that would be big news, of course. Remember, it was said that Viral Namli was killed by Fatma Ghul El Ghaz's husband, Karim El Ghaz. But then the evidence and the witnesses proved that the murderer is someone else. And now Karim El Ghaz has been freed. The decision of this trial is very important for the case of Salim Yasseran and Erdogan Yasseran, who are still fugitives and are yet to be found. Our news associates are following the case, and we will report any updates to you as they happen. Do you have a statement? Mustafa, what do They've you arrived. Have to say? Let's go inside and take our places. Soon enough, it will be your turn. And another problem will be solved, son. All in court, stand up, please. I'm opening the session of the lawsuit that has been filed against Karem Ilgaz for Viral's murder. <sighs> and soon it will be over. We'll see that Karem isn't guilty. Mustafa will be in prison. Everyone knows the truth, only I don't know what will happen. Sammy is the only one I have right now, you know? But I'm a really big problem for him. I have no hope about the future now. I get into a panic whenever I think. If I was alone, it would be easier. But not now. I'm so worried. Fatma Ghul. I entrust my child to you if I die. What are you saying? Don't talk like that. I have nobody around me that I trust. Nothing bad will happen and you'll raise your child. <laughs> you know, some people aren't that lucky. They're losers and my child is one of them. His father is a murderer. And his mother... Uh, I'm just a... Shh. Don't be talking like that. You have to look at this like it'll be an entirely new beginning for us. Not only me, but you will have a better life. You will live for your child. You are going to be a great mother. You will be, I just know you will. Everyone has been identified. Now, we'll hear the prosecutor. 
Your Honor, in the case where Karim Ilgaz has been accused for the thoughtless murder of Viral Namli, there have been important developments that have come to light. The most important development would be the fact that Mustafa Nalkali has confessed everything. And also, all the witnesses will tell the same. And so therefore, I must demand a full acquittal for the defendant, Karem Ilgaz, and that he be free of all charges. I also demand for the murder of Viral Namli, life imprisonment for Mustafa Nalkali, so that the case will be brought to justice. After he returned, I understood there was something strange. He said he was anchored in another bay. So the accused went to sea that night, and it was your boat that he took out to sea? Yes, it was, Your Honor. I am sorry. Did Mustafa hurt you at all? No, he didn't. Did he tell you that he loves you? He kidnapped me just to make Karem angry. Why do you think like that? Did he tell you that he loves you? No, because we hate each other. That's the truth. Witness Haser Nakali. Come on. <clears throat> Are you Hasser Nakali? Yes, sir, I am. And who's Mustafa Nakali to you? He is my husband. You said that your husband had confessed that he had killed for anomaly. That's true? Yes, Your Honor. He confessed. I'll never be there anymore. You saved me, as you've told me before. May Allah be pleased. But I won't be your slave anymore, Mustafa. I'm sure there's something that you trust. You're not the same Asu I knew. You don't know anything about me, huh? You don't even know my name. Who do you think I am? What do you know about me other than I'm, you know... You're going. Come on. It's over. Don't touch. Get out because it's over now. He always woke up in the nights. He... he had nightmares. He was mentally depressed. When I asked questions, he got angry and he shouted. And so I got suspicious and... and I followed him. He went to go visit Viral's grave. I saw him crying. I saw him crying and I asked him why he was there. He confessed everything and he said it was an accident. And that's how he told me. Witness Fatma Ghul Ilgaz. Your name and surname? Fatma Ghul Ilgaz. You'll get well now. You will get well for me, Mustafa. I do love you. I'm waiting for you. I'll always wait for you. Mustafa told me that he had wanted to punish for all of them. But he said he didn't. He said he didn't and that it was an accident. 
and he said he shot at Karim and that it wasn't an accident. I do love you. I'm waiting for you. I'll always wait for you. The witness's statements have proven that Veral Namli's death was an accident. He did not do it on purpose or with mal intent. And so therefore, I am demanding my client's release. Each of these witnesses have freely testified his innocence, where we can see that this was just an accident. I ask your honor that you understand that my client is not a murderer. With all respect, your honor. We heard the prosecutor and the witnesses. Now we will hear the accused. And so then, what have you to say? This is your chance to say what you want to. Do you have anything? I love Fatma Ghul very much. Listen now to the witnesses, the prosecutor, and the accused. Also, Karim Ilgaz has been acquitted, and we know that he shall be free of all charges here, where all charges against him will be permanently dropped, and certifying that he shall be cleared of all blame permanently. <laughs> We know that Mustafa Nakali wounded Veral Namli, and he died because of him. And therefore, the court has sentenced him to imprisonment for 10 years and two months, and that will be served in full as of this day. And he tried to kill Karim Ilgaz, and he is sentenced to nine years. He kidnapped Fatma Ghul Ilgaz, and therefore, the court decides to sentence him to due time, imprisoned up to three years in total, in the name of the law. Please forgive me. He's been sitting over there like a statue since he came. Go and poke him so he perks up. He received 22 years. He's still in shock. He needs time to adjust. Wait, I'll check on him. Shh, sit back. Be respectful. We don't irritate anyone who's here for the sake of virtue. We respect them. He doesn't know, bro. He's new. He shall learn then. To the young man first. When I was young, age had no meaning. 
Here, brother. Just steeped it. Thanks. But you've been eating, though. Drink this. I don't want it. Ismael. As you wish, then, brother. Blessings. Don't interfere today. He must get well. Poor young man. Don't pity him, but the other two that escaped from him. I'll bet they're happy to be away from him. Hosshair, get permission to see me. Just do it. What's going on? Nothing, just lying down, you know. Are you hungry? I brought you some toast, also some fruit and a juice. Thank you. The baby must be hungry too. Eat it, please. Hmm. Any news from Omer? Could he arrange it? No, not yet. No news. Well, what do you expect from that man? He's just a waste of time. Fine then, you go back to Istanbul. You'll lose your job because of me anyway. He'll just insult you again. He's gonna try and blame you for everything that happened. He'll make you feel even worse about it. I mean, he said things to Fatma Ghul instead of you. Enough, Sammy. He's a total jerk. He doesn't care for you. He only apologized to Fatma Ghul. I said enough, shut up. I just don't want you to take him back. <laughs> Seriously. I won't go anywhere without you. I don't want you to be sad. When you are sad, I'm sad. <laughs>